We have chosen to focus initially on notebooks because that's where most of the web usage is there today. That's where people use the web the most. And so we wanted to bring the Chrome OS experience to notebooks. When you do that, when you run Chrome OS on notebooks, you end up with a very different, unique experience. We call those Chromebooks. So what makes Chromebooks different, different from other notebooks? Here are a few attributes. Every Chromebook is instant to turn on. In fact, when you first get your device, when you unwrap the box, you will be up and running within three minutes. If you're one of the 160 million active users of Chrome, all your stuff is automatically there with Chrome Sync. Every time you boot up, you're up and running within eight seconds. And each time you open the lid, before you can move your fingers and type on the keyboard, you're connected within the web. We have provided built-in connectivity options. So wherever you use them, with connectivity options, you, are, you have data services, which are pay-as-you-go, no contracts, no commitments. You get free monthly usage per month, and you can buy day passes, etc. So you can be always connected. They have all-day battery life. So I think this is really game-changing in terms of how you think about your notebooks. I never carry power chargers around when I'm using a Chromebook. You can, it lasts them all day, and as long as you can charge it at home or at your hotel in the night, you're all set. These are some of the attributes which make phones and tablets great as well. But for the first time, we are bringing those wonderful attributes of mobile computing to the world of notebooks. The software experience is very unique as well. Because it is nothing but the web, you can access your stuff anytime, anywhere. You can have multiple Chromebooks. You can share Chromebooks with people. Each time when you open them, you get the latest and the greatest version of the web application which you're using. It gets better over time. I think this is something, a concept which people aren't used to on their computers. When you buy a PC, it's actually great on the first day. But as you install applications, it slowly starts degrading over time. Because we update Chromebooks automatically, we'll update them every few weeks, we actually think we can make it better over time. To give you an example, as we have made all the JavaScript speed improvements, your Chromebooks will get faster. Another important use case is the ability to use Chromebooks while you're disconnected. So we've worked hard to make many, many important applications available offline. Three of the most important applications which users have requested us to bring offline are Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Docs. We're all using internally offline versions of these applications, and they will all be available for Chromebook users this summer. Already today, there are hundreds of applications on the Chrome Web Store which work offline. New York Times, USA Today, Huffington Post, Sports Illustrated. You should check it out. They work seamlessly offline. And almost all the games, they use package resources, and they work offline in the browser today in the Chrome Web Store. Angry Birds, which you saw earlier, works offline as well. We also realize it's a very connected world, which is why we have broadened seamless connectivity with built-in 3G as well. So we've been working to complete this experience. Back in December, we told you we are working with some of the leading partners in the world to bring Chromebooks to market. We are working with Samsung and Acer, two of the leading companies in the world. Intel powers Chromebooks with their great processors. And Verizon in the US with the Gobi modem has incredible connectivity, uh, and I've been using this app. In fact, the connectivity piece of Chromebooks, we received such great feedback during the pilot program we have worked internationally to partner with leading carriers all over the world to make the same option available for Chromebooks internationally. So let's take a look at the uh, first Chromebooks. The first Chromebook is from Samsung. Samsung is the world's leading consumer electronics manufacturer. They worked with us very closely to design a Chromebook optimized for web usage. It has a 12.1-inch display. Uh, it looks great. It's a 300-nit display, and the web looks great on it. It has all-day battery usage. So you literally, I've used it for many days now. You don't run out of battery while you use it during the day. It, is, it comes in Wi-Fi, as well as the built-in 3G option from Verizon in the US and other carriers internationally. And it's available in two colors.
The second, second Chromebook is from Acer. Acer is the world's leading PC manufacturer, and they work to come up with a new Chromebook, which is much more portable. So it is 11.6 inch screen, so it's easy to carry around. It's a full HD display, and it has, but they work to fit in a full size keyboard on, so that you can easily carry it around. It'd be very, very productive on this machine. It's again available in Wi Fi and 3G. We just want to give you a sneak preview. Our partners will be holding events to announce more details. I should mention that the Samsung device will be priced at $429 for the Wi Fi option with the built in 3G option and 100 megs free built in. It is $499 in the United States. The Acer device is an incredible value. It's priced starting at $349 and up. So when will they be available? On June 15th, we have worked with two of the leading online retailers in the US, Amazon.com and BestBuy.com. So they'll be available online for consumers to order on June 15th.